hey guys welcome back to our channel we're here with a news for you guys we are married <laughs> so yeah guys we got married um november 27 2020 wow. and um yeah that's saturday gone right and we just want to talk a little about our journey <laughs> oh my gosh it was so stressing it was Did stressing I? I lose my hairline <laughs> Then y'all is not my hairline. Your beard. <laughs> Where? Where? So guys, it was really stressing. Like at one point I was saying, but this should be a journey that I enjoy, not one that I'm like have to put me in so much stress. But um I can honestly say after the wedding we are all smiles because things turn out even more than what we expected it worked out well so then and i plan our wedding we basically sit down and plan um we had Do some the program yeah Dane put the planning um, of, of of how the um the program well how things will run into one another um talk to the dj the, that the vendors rather mm -hmm. you know um just organize everything Pretty much, and just you know, reach out to the relevant persons who are supposed to be reached out to in order to get this going, yeah, guys. So, basically, um, our wedding was basically a mix of uh, things that we love, and it's actually three things um, African, vintage, and, and nature. nature. Like, then and I, we're so much in we like the African vibes and the African look. Um, nature, oh gosh, you, you can know from some of our videos. We love the nature. Look in the background, look in the background. Oh, yeah, look in the background. Ooh. Look at that, look at that. It feels so <laughs> relaxing, you know. So, we're all yeah. about nature. Vintage is more of my kind of thing, Dane likes it somehow, but I'm more into vintage. Like, when we like see some old something, I'm so wow, that cutie, and I'm like, really, but yeah, vintage. So, we had to add a little of that in it right so um when dane and i was planning um well dane best man howard he was the one who gave me the idea of giving the guests the souvenir giving the guests a plant as a souvenir because our wedding was um is actually kept at a garden place and he was saying being that we are into nature and those stuff why not do that so when he made that suggestion which i appreciate what i did was to go ahead now and to do some research to see what i can find on amazon so i went on amazon and i found some little small flower pots and i said oh these would be nice and because i can customize um stuff i said i could just customize them with some basically some sticker vinyl get them cut out with um our uh, what i had on it was k and d and the date that we're we're getting married and i mm -hmm. we were supposed to do <laughs> our hashtag by we, the way guys our hashtag is, is our, our little, little bond. bond we were supposed to do it but honestly guys i was so tired i did tired man i couldn't take up anything else so i ended up not doing that right and then what what i did too because i wanted it to be a little more you know personal so what i did was to go ahead and got some little wooden sticks on amazon wrote their wrote the names of each guest and stick it in each plant so that was you know that gave it a lift yeah, so I yeah a personal touch you know a personal touch yeah. People so like to see their you know their names on things um you know certain things customized and all of that that they love you know and appreciate you know the personal that personal touch and the fact that on the day when we were giving out these souvenirs we went to each individual and gave them their you know personalized um souvenir plant their personalized plants right oh with the cake and with yeah. the cake as well so we had so mm -hmm. everybody was saying yo this is this is something different you know this is yeah. definitely different from what they're used to you know so that was that was really nice yes yeah, so because we actually have cakes in small um cake boxes 
and those box were actually customized, customized also sauce, right. mm -hmm. you will see because we put some videos together of um our planning but we weren't able to video everything but we put some clips together so you'll see it after this video and guys right? it's not easy no don't it trust me it's not <laughs> it easy. is not like if it's... you are doing your wedding take the time out to ensure that it's planned properly and also executed properly trust yeah. me it is not easy don't let nobody tell you say it is easy it is not cheap mm -hmm. it's not easy right oh. but if it is something that you want to do like for example like us this was a major milestone for us right um if well persons who know us personally knows that this has been a long time coming right and i mean you know even up the last minute we had to make so much changes you know just to try and fit into our budget trying to yeah. um ensure that things are not you know exuberant and too expensive and all of that because you know we do money don't grow on tree exactly but, you know mm -hmm. if it is something that you that you want to achieve trust me go for it Go for yeah. it. Just ensure that you execute and uh, sorry, plan and execute properly. All right. Yeah, because as Dane said, um, one other thing though is that uh, we were on a budget, like tight budget. Yes, we like nice stuff, but we're not hung with baskets higher than we can reach it. So there are certain things that you'd want, but honestly, based on the price, because when 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 is it that you plan to get married? You know, you're gonna see some price. Yes, a lot. G might as well me go RGD. A lot of time that run through my mind, but we know we wanted something um with at least you know a little of our family and friends there so that's the reason why we didn't take that um Roads. road right but um our wedding was pretty small we had 20 persons which includes the vendors and when i said vendors i mean like the decorators the videographer cameraman and all that so when you right. check it out maybe in total for the guests is about 13 people so it was a very small wedding we just wanted small something small and intimate and I remember the pandemic and all that so yeah we go ahead we made a plan and then I, listen i've never seen a man sitting down planning them wedding like i found i found it so i don't know cute weird everything in one like then call the dj him call the mc and my and the and the MC was my cousin basically because we know that he has talents and all that and we say you know we can use him because yeah him, he's really good and he's very outspoken so yeah, we man. said so Dane like him so Dane said listen we are going to use him for doing and things so Dane call him up actually um, actually it was best man who suggested it oh yes that's true best how I remember reminded, it, reminded us that, that um, Harry had a cousin who is that good you yeah know? and we said you know what let's jump on it let's jump on it right away yeah man and i'm telling you you know it's like um when we call him up him say yeah man of course and things so yeah so then and the dj and him then do up the program you know yeah, before that, guys, we're gonna we're gonna tag the um mc and we're also gonna tag the, G the dj all right so look out for their names and you can you know follow them up and pretty much you know if you need them for an event you can use them all right so um basically basically then went ahead did a program called them up I'm on the phone with them I tell them how it's going to go and all that Then and I put together our different songs So we have our song like um, song, Our entrance song We have our exit song We have the song that Dan and I would dance at <laughs> May I laugh because guys, we're not so much to the video. <laughs> we have the song where Dane and I dance at the cocktail. As a matter of fact, guys, um, as I said, it's a small wedding. We didn't have a reception. We had a ceremony and we had a cocktail. cocktail hour. So cocktail hour and ceremony, right? So at the cocktail, we wanted it. Even though it's a cocktail, we wanted it to be a little spicy. So Dane and I said we spicy. want to <laughs> spicy. 
Indeed. So then and I said we wanted to entertain our guests. So what we did was to go ahead and um let the DJ mix a song for us. My name was the secret. And yeah, DJ bad. You see, when we don't perform a strictly two days we are asleep, <laughs> same way now. <laughs> we can't stop sleep. We say like But yeah guys, we're not gonna see we're not gonna see it. Mega person of funny, but I think copyright <laughs> copyright might prevent us from posting it i don't know if instagram would have a big issue but if not we can post it on instagram so yeah, you can so follow can our, our page, page um our little bond on instagram so make sure to follow us you know and i can put it in our snap too so follow us but trust me that video is worth sharing so yeah guys i know maybe we are talking all over the place but i just want to say that when you're planning your wedding um Go, go ahead and set enough time start doing searches with vendors because you're gonna get some prices where you may not able to afford those but you do have persons out there who's cheaper my wedding dress i bought it overseas and i got uh, my sister to take it out for me um that works out cheaper for me right and i got it re reasonable because me said i not spend a bag of money for no wedding dress even though you don't want to look good but you must can find something cheap and um more affordable and nice same way and i went ahead and got that but i bought it a size up because me said in case me put on little weights <laughs> what do you say sure we can't bother with him now in case my dress is sexy yeah we soon come to that <laughs> <laughs> in case i put on any more weight i would have you know it can fit so anyways i got the dress adjust um adjusted by a dressmaker and um a it's a local dressmaker is a lot popular somebody you know i mean i tell her she's very good like when the lady done with me I said, Jesus, um, I said, look the man, I saw me sexy. Like, it was really nice. So, yeah, my tailor suggested her and I said, I'll go ahead and check her out. And I was, uh, I was impressed. Um, they know where you want to say, because I will leave something at me, you know. Me say, yeah, you go, oh, and a lot of disappointment, a lot of last minute disappointment. Yep. You don't even understand. Yeah, we got drama. through a whole lot of drama. Like every day, we had a new drama. Every, every day. day, we had a new drama. So, yes, guys, um, Taylor did my thing, you know, and I was. Trust me. When we see him. The outfit. Mm, 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 African man. Mm. Man, the best man. Also. Jano. I'm going to tell you, say, yo, she's so hot. Nice bada. Yes, Both of them outfit, it sell what? off. What? Tell her, they're going to be a waste. Yo! Tell her, they're going to be a waste, but, you know, I'm going to learn to forgive her. I'm going to learn to forgive her. But, yeah, man, tell her, big up yourself. I'm going to tell her, so hot. You see me? So it's shot. That's all I have to say. When you see people, I want to determine. Yeah. But we can tell you though, from our, our perspective, we can set the suit shot. You see me? Yeah. Yeah. So he went ahead and get him suit done by him tailor, bro. For years, I might use that tailor. And it was really good. But it, like, me see mommy, I say, yo, boy. <laughs> like, uh, it made look nice. And um, the best man suit did shot to it. We how it did blending. Like, yeah, and also my maid of honor, um, she got the right color dress because I, oh, by the way, our color is burgundy and light coral with a dash of little colors, but the main color is burgundy and light coral. And when Miss my bride maid, my maid of honor, sorry, because I had a maid of honor, didn't have um, had a best man, remember, it's a small, small wedding, wedding. Mm -hmm. and as I said, you know, when me see her, she tried to me see it nice, and if it are so nice, like guys, I can't complain, like it turned out more than what we expected. As I said, we had a whole lot of disappointment at one point. Me feel like 
I just can't bother do this anymore. I <laughs> tell you the truth. And like me, I say, but are you gonna let these disappointments cause you not to go ahead with getting married, what you really want to do? Because hey, the most of the time, I say, Dean, but we just go RGD, you know? We just like can't bother. Like but then it push us. Get the push. It like push us. Now, we get the push. It push us. Drive and go for what we want, you know? Exactly. Just go for what we want. So mm -hmm. yeah man we, we we did some we made some calls man and thing and trust me man mm. no time man is like you know yeah. your turnaround time was so quick like we had basically like a week and couple of days to like plan finally like, yeah because we, like, we had some disappointments wow. and as such it leave us a week and a half to make some de some decision to make some move so we didn't have any time really even on my wedding day you know may I speak may I communicate with Vendor you know because remember we, we had to go ahead and to get our vendors and all that but ho but luckily I had the decorators assisted me a little where they reach out to some of the vendors and find out where they at and all that yeah, so I was really great Oh, decorated is, Big up is, is divine events 876 Yo, on shot. Instagram guys please check out them page when me tell us say them good Shut. like when i step in i i can't a month of time i tell them thanks when i step in and i saw the decor it was beautiful mm -hmm. and they did uh, we even did a diagram to show them how we like our wedding yep. and they did well exactly you understand trust me it. the only difference is that we wanted some signs at the as an aisle marker i say you call it mm -hmm. But um, the signs were rented out, so we got some other things. As, and trust me, it was really good. How it was it? how they set it. It was yes, pretty, and we had everything one place. So it's a garden area, and we had the ceremony and the cocktail one place. So when we leave the ceremony, we went ahead and to take some photos, and come back by at the time. by the time we come back to the cocktail, the hey, place set. set like, the same place, <laughs> because even my mother was saying to me, say, um, you know, me how she friend when she come back and see the place set up because she thought they were just pulling down. Mm -hmm. But we know what is what, cause remember we plan it, we know yeah. exactly. So we give them time and all that. Hey, and thank you to Alhambra Inn. All right, so we want to big up. Alhambra Inn that's one Tucker Avenue in Kingston that's where our wedding kept I tell you the customer service turn up Shanice Shanice me tell you, I may tell you again, you were excellent. You did well. Communication was on point. Shanice even called me. Yeah, can you believe she even called us you know? She called us and she promised to send us an email she's going to send, send us. She assisted us with the menu, cutting down to fit in our budget and everything. It was great. When we went there, the other staff, they were as helpful as Shanice. They, come, they came and they went above and beyond to ensure that all of us was happy. And um, we really, really appreciate it. I would recommend that place to anybody. Listen, that place, they're pretty. Like, we're all about nature and it fits right in. They even have a a fish um an Sounds area where they have like a some fish in the, in a little water thing and you know it was so relaxing even just hearing it sound like a falls trust me and they have some antique things and guys you know i'm in vintage so <laughs> when i look at all them stuff they just feel so nice we also last minute got a vintage car So you know who jump on that. So is I went to church, had a church brother and the church Literally. brother say like we were there taking some picture and he said, Oh no can't lean up on the car, you know. I and we sit car. up on the car and I say, What? And then same time I come to mind because I was thinking about a vintage car before, but I wasn't dwelling on it. And I said, But we could have asked him if we could have borrowed the car for the day, if we take some picture, fix it Monster. up and all that. He yeah, said, Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I said, You serious? Monster, yeah, man. Yo, when we go back at church, I take him number everything because I say, Yeah, I <laughs> want that. So you will see those, um, those pictures. little pictures and all that. As I said, follow our Instagram page. Our little bond will be posting a lot of pictures there. And 
that was that and really appreciate that our photographer kevin lord must tell the answer my name but i you know what me have to call kevin today i said kevin i know my name but you but you know um we just want a timeline when we get the pictures them a long time a long time we, using we have been using kevin from ancient days from, from before baby in from belly. before baby in a <laughs> belly and everything during when baby in a belly can we maternity shoot and even after when Nathan first birthday, so we have been all we always use Kevin. Kevin get better and better over the Every years, time. and he is very very patient. Mm -hmm. And him no mind what we do foolishness, so we stay there and take with pictures. And he brought a videographer. He was he was friendly to Russian big up herself. And Jamie then got Jamie the, the the musician and the DJ. DJ. And mm -hmm. trust me, he was very good. The music them flow and the music them were warm here we hear it and he was the one who mixed the music for our dance big up and david for the system music system you know mm -hmm. jump out and him doing thing come and set up set and up ensure it's everything you know everything mm -hmm. in place and whatnot whatnot you know mic or work everything you know tested and everything and it was yeah. you know it was really easy communicating with them you know Very. so really grateful for that and um Trish, my maid of honor, oh god, Trish by me crack up. Me say in the morning, Trish, I take out one bag of something, give me you know vitamins, iron. She give me one something when me spray on my mouth if me get nervous. She carry eye drop in case we are ball and then we I get red. Me say Trish do that. Me say we love, we love, we love, and then eventually everything what she has say a true, you know. Cause my man the ball in the end. <laughs> No, we can't laugh about it now, but in the moment it was emotional. <laughs> but um big up Trish, Trish was on point. Listen, let me give you one joke. Then my heels were woman by a Trish buy it for me. My maid of honor sponsored me my heels. And when she bought the heels, when me go home, cause it bought last minute, you know, a Friday. So when me go home now, oh, me oh, see yeah. yeah the Friday and the wedding Saturday when I went home. One heel is five and a half and one six and a half. I mean, we're six and a half, you know. So, me, I wonder why this fits so tight and one fit look. Anyways, the six and a half was a little, because if you know, ladies, some shoes, they fit um small, some fit big. So, that six and a half was a little small, so the seven would be fine. So, we are fear rush now in the morning when my makeup are doing a church rush, go up on the road for catch the store for swap it. So, we that. That was successful. So I got size seven in both. And boy, I feel bigger up in a big up Trish. God know what. Trish. He wants things Trish do. Maybe me don't know what else we say. How are they the same How are the best man? I say, if you know I said didn't reach on time, big up Howard. Oh, Howard, big up. <laughs> Trust me. I pressure me, I pressure me. I say, yo, and make sure you reach early. Now. I want to calm yourself. Oh, relax, no. man. Relax. Mm -hmm. And yeah, how can I forget my makeup artist, Miss Too Fine? You can check her out on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. I'm definitely going to put the link below. Miss Too Fine. Miss Too Fine slayed my Trust face. Trust and the mothers. She did a good job. Listen. The reason is that whenever people are doing makeup, they tend to leave out the neck. <laughs> Right. They're not everybody. A, no, seriously. They just have a problem if no, you do the makeup and the neck not blending. No, you know? because your face just gonna look different from your neck, and your face just gonna look like you know depth on your neck. I mean, I can't anyway, so, so how did I look? Trust me, you look splendid. Oh, trust me, Mr. Too Fine, he so loves it. Great job. He That's loves it, and he said you gave me a natural look. Yeah. So he That's loves it, and the mothers, the mothers and oh, Trish gosh, makeup. My mother, my mother get a makeup makeover, makeover <laughs> because she was she like, looked, um, she looked like glowing, 16. glowing. She was like 16 and she was mm. glowing. Trust me, when yeah. you see her, it's like, stop, <laughs> Wallet, son, wallet. Wallet. <laughs> so it was really good. Like me 
she's too fine. She always is some is someone I admire. She has such a great personality. And um it's her friend Stephanie that allowed me to meet her and from a meet her, Mrs. Stephanie. Okay. Your friend nice. Can't forget Stephanie. Oh Stephanie, how me forget Stephanie. T things. Hey, T things. T T E E underscore T I N G Z. Yeah, T things. She customized our flower pot. Oh, we need to talk. As soon as we talk about, gonna talk about what we use that flower pot for. So T things customized our flower pot, and she did it free of cost. That's a gift to us. And we truly appreciate it. Like when I saw it, it was like me no say you can customize things. But when you see it, it just looks so, so cute, so different. Well, well, like me tell her thanks so much. Like tea things, Stephanie, thank you very much. We love it. We love it. We love it. Big so all right, so the flower pot that Stephanie customized was for a unity ceremony. So we wanted something unique and cute, and of course, blend in with the, our theme. So it was nature. So Dana and I, you know, some persons would tie the tie the the, the string, um, the card as their unity ceremony, or they would throw the the powder thingy. But what we did was to plant a cactus plant together for a unity ceremony. So the flower pot well, that Stephanie T things customized was what we used. Right. So pasta basically say oh it's the first time more something like this. It's like like must say oh it's unique. Mm -hmm. You know? And just some money it was it was it was just unique because Really and truly, we have never seen anything like this before. I mean, you when know? I was when I was rich, cause it came to mind. But when I went on the internet, you will see one and two. But it was like some tree that they planted, or some other things. But it was just something that came to mind. Not, not, not something that we have been, we always see. You know. Right. So, yeah, man. Well, yeah, man. Anyways, <laughs> Aunt Baba, yo, big up in a Miguel. Big up. We're gonna we're, we're, we're go, we're go tag you in on this. Trust me, we're gonna tag you in on this, bro. Trust me. And people, if you want a good barber, Miguel, check him out. You know? Yeah. Oh, man. It was a good, just to sum it up, the wedding was anyways, great. Anyways, babe. Hmm? We can't forget we friend them. Oh, yeah, of course. We can't forget we friend big and up, family them big who up all of contributed. My and family who contributed. In some way, <sighs> our form. We appreciate it. You know? We appreciate you guys Trust so me. much. Like, you don't know, words just, just can't. Brother, explain. jump around and end up being the chauffeur oh, yeah? driver, <laughs> driver you know or the bride um mm -hmm. you know howard and patrice they just yeah jump the borland family trust me someone, they, you know, they, the time they, family uh, you know the, the um who is family now Spencer. Family, yeah, of course. <laughs> you know? Tracy, big up yeah, Spencer, when... big up yourself. Michael like... Smith family. <laughs> <laughs> Shabra, <I hear> you. <laughs> but it was but great, yeah, was, guys. It was me. great. It was, to be honest, it was more than what we expected. Because as I said, you know, we just wanted something small and intimate, which we got, like a little get together. But then when we saw the, even the decor, divine events, trust me, you Can't guys did well. Word, so when we saw the decor and we saw, you know, and the, 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 the DJ was great. Because we love music, you know, we love dance. I love, we can dance, you know, we are dance. So it was, it, it flowed and the, everybody just stepped in and did them too. So this is the area that Divine Events um, decorated for a cocktail hour. And I just want to big up um, Dana. Dana was the one who we actually rent the chairs from. The Shavar chairs and also the chairs that the bride and groom sit in. They were so comfortable. The cake topper is one that I chose from Amazon. I wanted something um wooden and something that blends in back with our theme, which is nature. And it was just so perfect. And oh my God, the cake, the cake, the cake, the cake was so beautiful. And it tastes so 
good like everyone talk about the teas the cake tea is so good and it was so beautiful the cake was done by christina i'm gonna tag her instagram page and you can follow her she her prices are very reasonable also hope i'm not leaving out anyone but, but thank trust you guys. me thank you guys thank you thank you thank you, thank you so much and you're even my speech at the end everybody is about to about it like yeah but thank you speech. it's a life <laughs> i mean i didn't plan it you know yeah i didn't plan it exactly. like three quarter what we did we didn't we didn't plan it we just wanted everything to just you know just yeah, flow just, just happen flow. naturally so we just have an idea as to what we really want and we we said that right. but um i also guys um of course we're going to share our, our wedding video with you guys so you can stay tuned if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe Hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and of course you can feel ahead and share our videos comment 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 below if you want to and as i said you can look out for a wedding video um after this guys, video stay tuned. stay tuned yeah and after this video we're gonna show you some clips of us while we were planning all right Out. so bye i see you <laughs> hey so we got the boxes the cape boxes it's all done we are putting things together for the wedding um it said kareen and dane the dates are we will be getting married and our family hashtag so yeah so um what i'm gonna do what we're gonna do is to add a little like a little ribbon to tie a bow at the top here so the lady that is baking the cake will be doing that and of course i supported a local business for these boxes and it's absolutely beautiful they're so cute so my mother put together these um plans they are souvenirs so these will be given to the guests i will be customizing the the bottom I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to write as yet. And they come with a, uh, like a, a, this that you can rest the plant in when you're watering it so it don't wet the floor. So these are cactus plants and absolutely beautiful. There are some others over here, but Dana and I are kind of putting them together like, try to see if we can take out the best ones because some of them, where I'm actually eat them <laughs> like these ones so I'm not sure if we're gonna use them but yeah it's looking good so far thanks mommy my tailor suggested this lady that he knows that can alter wedding dresses and and I chose her to do mine and trust me she was very patient and it was well done She's all done now and I can't wait to see the final look. So guys, I'm doing my final fitting of my dress. Look at that curve. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. Like I absolutely love it. Look, she did a great job. Let them on. Look. <laughs> After I finished with the dressmaker, I went to a couple stores to see if I can find a heel for my wedding day and I did not have any good luck on that because I, I saw some heels, they were pretty and all that but it did not fit the dress uh, or the look that I actually wanted so I said I'll try again. Honestly, it has been a very rough like um, one week from my wedding and now it feels as if I have to basically plan my wedding all over again because unexpected prices that are coming at me no way like I literally have to explore some other option and see how best I can cut down things because some of these things are just way outside of my budget and um, 
yeah I don't know I'm just so disappointed I I just I just don't know but Dana and I are planning on maybe keeping the ceremony and reception one place to see if we can cut back on the decoration and the cost because we were planning to keep it at the church and then um, at Alhambra where the lawn area is but then where the garden area is but then uh, the cost to decorate the church and then to go to Alhambra and all that it's just ridiculous so um, I mean that's their cost but uh, we cannot afford that sorry so we just gotta move on right so we're thinking about other options um, to see how best we can <sighs> must sound depressed not sure yes I'm depressed like one basically so we have one week left because um, we have the entire next week to finish finalize thing and the other week we can but talk with brain for your plan while the other week is a wedding so I'm just gonna see how best we can work on things and yeah. I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, so we are back to where we are going to have our wedding at Alhambra. Yay! So we are bringing the photographer. The photographer will be here soon so that he can view the place. Have an idea as to where we can take some pictures and all that. Nathan is just here for the first time so he's fascinated with the place. So Nathan is bringing me back to the place to look on the fish. I swear he's fascinated with them. You see a big fish? Yeah. Ooh, look at that one, Nathan. Look at that one. Ooh. Look at this thing. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Dean is now showing Shanice from Alhambra Inn um, the idea that we have as to how we like the place to be decorated and the photographer Kevin is also there. We took him to the different areas so that we can see, you know, have an idea as to where we're going to take pictures. We also brought him to two entrances and we decide um, as to which one of the entrances that I would um, come in through and which one he thinks would be the best option and you know we just basically continue doing a little planning with him no you i think it would have to be at the side so maybe we could have it oh this is so cute maybe we could have it at the side over here like a signing table at the side not sure or it would yeah could be at this oh, side but oh but wait the guests would have to Remember, we're going to plant afterwards. 
So this is around the back, around the um, car park at Alhambra Inn. And around the back, there is a pool area also. So, so there's another area in which you can take pictures and also keep your events. Um, we're, you know, just exploring the place. As I said, we're trying to find different spots in which we can take pictures. So we are here with the pasta and we are going to do our practice. So we are one week away from the wedding. We are going to do our practice today. So we are just giving the pasta a walk through as to, you know, what we plan on doing. So then he's actually speaking with the DJ and the MC who is right. my cousin and no, he is walk, taking, giving them a walk through with the program that he um, created. <laughs> so about the depositors, right? So as we said, the aim is basically. Uh -huh. Correct. Correct. And at that time now, you, Jamie, is going to play Farrell, Happy by Farrell, right? So, Nathan, all right, basically in a sense, Roger, they're going to line up. So, you're going to have them out of the gate, Roger, right? That's the entrance gate, forward. All right, there's two gates that persons will walk, right? For the, for the guests, they'll walk at the, what do you call it now, the main entrance, and go over a bridge. Right? We can show you it basically when when we, we um when we go there. Right? But it's pretty it's pretty simple. So that's the main entrance. So they can come out of the car and just walk up the step, walk over the bridge, and then come in up through the lobby and pass. That's where the world walk past Jamie, right? And then enter, that's on the lawn. They'll basically reach on the lawn there, so yeah. And then they'll take their seat, All right? For the um the first the first set of um seats, that's row one and row two. Those basically will be reserved for um for us the first set of rows will be reserved for me and the best man and um the bride and the maid of honor right and then the second set of seats will be reserved for the mothers so one mother and nathan and you know denny um raje so, so, porch. so people from there with taylor you know big bad taylor <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, deal with the outfit, you know. So what My she thing, man. Hmm? She do, she do, man, oh, man. But you know, me have to come, you know. Fit and thing, man. She easy, she love excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. <laughs> yeah, man. Love catch, the limelight. Catch, catch Taylor shirt. Jesus, uh, Taylor, where you get that shirt? There? Talk to you people, don't <laughs> man. Where you get that shirt? There? <laughs> yeah, people. So you don't know. They Taylor right now. And thing. The Miss Car over there, so. Big bad dressmaker. Yes. Yeah, man, for years she had it, you know. Mm -hmm. But your man outfit there, you know. Almost ready for the big day, yeah. She mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't see it. She doesn't see it, Taylor. She doesn't see it, Taylor. How does she see it? She can't see it. Every video, I'm my, I'm my video. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, man. So you feel? So you, how you feel making my outfit, Taylor? I feel feeling weird. Huh? Yes, sir. Wait, why? Because of years you do them something? They come in like nothing to me now. Yeah? No, yes, sir. So we know you a long time? Yeah. <laughs> just normal, just normal. Yeah, eh? working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long time, I, yeah, yeah, a long time I support Taylor and people. Yeah, man, a long time. Yes. Yeah, man, we, we long time, dunk years. That's yeah, where people would have For me, a young boy. Yeah, no with no with no small no belly. Look on belly now. Look on belly. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> belly again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so years, years with the yeah man, years we had them so yeah man, yeah man, definitely man. 
Yeah, man, I feel good, man. I feel good for no some still a support, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, man, so where people were literally one week and what that? One day, um, two days, well, one day actually. One week and one day away from the big day. So, you know, Taylor just had him final touches, ensure so the suit well fit and everything, you know, neat and everything, you know. Because Taylor wants to see a picture of them afterwards, you know. Taylor, a picture of them go bad, not you? In Taylor? Oh, you're a picture of them bad, not you? Yeah, man, you what we're going to do now is get mm-hmm. the button in tomorrow. Yeah. Goal is it, right? Goal, yeah, man. Goal button, man. I mean, I want to put it in the cup right down the sleeve. Oh, what? You add some tea to you? No, <laughs> no sir. <laughs> Miss Carr, say hi to you people, then, Miss Carr. Hello. No, are you excited for the big day? Yes, man. Yeah, I prefer it, don't you? I want to see it. Yeah? yeah. All right. Yes, master. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right, people. I'm out for now. I'm out for now. See you. Alright guys, Samir, best man, our little bun, I do the fitting now, I'm doing the fitting here, alright, excited because it's one week to go, next week Saturday, you know, I don't know, then Kari, it's gonna be a big affair. All right. So I'm out. Yeah, we'll see you guys when I put on the full thing now. All right. So I'm on the pants. Look a preview of the pants. Yeah. So guys, I am at the nail tech. Ah, uh, one day before the big day. So I'm about to get my nails done. When I entered the nail tech, trust me, I love the look and the scent in there smells so, so sweet. And it was just so cozy. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here with Latoya. Say hi, Latoya. Hi. She is the baddest. You hear what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you visit her Instagram page. I will put the link on this video. So, as I said, I'm about to get my nails done and I'll show you guys the final product. The finished product. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So this is the finished look guys and I'm so in love with it. It's just so unique and so cute and the color that I chose is just so calm. This is exactly what I wanted. So I just thought I'd give myself a treat and as such I chose one of her pedicure package which I absolutely don't regret. It is absolutely, um, it was absolutely wonderful and the, the things that she used in it, like trust me it smells so good. And I, I just felt calm and relaxed and you know, I just, I was just so pleased. So after I finished with the nail tech, I then went to Just Natural Hair Studio where I got my hair done. I wanted a natural look for my on my day and as such, I bought Yaman Braids and have someone at Just Natural Hair Studio give me a nice updo look. So I finally finished putting the souvenirs together and I customized the flower pot um, with sticker vinyl saying K and D and the day that we're getting married and it's just a beautiful look so far. Alright guys, so right now I'm going to get my, um, my ear cut. Yeah. I'm well bushy and you know. Yeah, Baba here. No idea. Miguel, say hi to the people. Baddest Baba in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say hi to the people, Miguel. Yeah, so. 
See them? Bushy man, bushy. Well bushy, so yeah man, we're gonna trim up and all. I'm gonna see the thing, it's our bad. It's our bad man. So you reach all the people in place, man. So then get his beard and die. <laughs> me with my nuff self go touch it and my nice nails mess up. So I'm there buy water up on the roadside and I try to wash it out. <laughs> now this is a drama. <clears throat> then go die up beard for, for wedding day. Ever hear them some here? Boy, I don't know what type of dye that Miguel use. <laughs> but <laughs> that the dye that we use it well strong. My knee, right now my finger stay you now. Come Mr. Sir, we have to move. That's stress out how hard. <laughs> I pray that he is not so up tonight with him enough self. One moment, one moment. Yo, you think he is so up in that? Yeah. When you're done, you go check your hand. Does it look for any swelling? Me? Yeah. Don't you say that you know what? I'm going to carry